core sampling of what's below the surface of Ninigrid Pond. This pilot project is this week's NBC10 URI watershed report. Thousands of years of history are contained in this core sample taken from the bed of Ninigrid Pond. I'm R.J. Heim with what the researchers found in this week's NBC10 URI watershed report. This week's NBC10 URI watershed report, more than half of the U.S. population lives in coastal areas, and that's expected to grow to 75% in the next five years. Now, work is underway now to prepare for that increase and preserve what's already there. NBC 10's R.J. Heim reports from Charlestown. The EPA says the northeast coastal areas on the whole are in poor condition. That's based on water quality, sediment, loss of coastal habitat, and the health of fish and organisms. That's the motivation for the Natural Resources Conservation Service to team up with researchers from URI, the EPA, and state agencies to restore and preserve these areas despite the forecast population increases. One of the projects, mapping the floor of Ninigrit Pond, the largest coastal pond in Rhode Island, by the taking of core samples. All land use activities that happen, you know, above us and at higher, higher elevations all those activities affect what's happening on the shoreline and in the coastal ponds. This core shows 10,000 years of history. What we're seeing is, you know, areas where there's historic oyster reefs and historic eelgrass beds. And so by going, by returning to those places, you might be able to restore those things. Today is the final day of sampling. Now they hope with the success of this project that in the future they'll be able to map all the coastal ponds in Rhode Island and all the shallow areas less than 15 feet of Narragansett Bay. Those maps will be used to determine how those spots might be used, if at all. If someone decides that this is the best type of soil for aquaculture, or say they're going to have to dredge, what will, what will happen if they dredge those materials and they place them on land? To get a look at the data, log on to our website at turntoten.com. With this week's NBC10 URI Watershed Report, I'm R.J. Heim in Charlestown.